Hello and welcome to Shiny Crochet. Today we are making a cute frog plushie, which I have nicknamed Jerry. In this video, I am using a thin 8-ply yarn with a 3mm hook. If you are using a normal 8-ply yarn, you may need a 3.5mm hook. Be sure to test it out to see what works for you. You can also use a 10-ply yarn with a 4.5mm hook for a chunkier plushie like this fluffy boy here. I use US terminology in my patterns. See description for translation to UK. This pattern is available as PDF on Ravelry. See description for link below. If you have any questions, please leave a detailed comment below so I can help. I am using orange yarn in this video as I have it in my stash, but you could use green, yellow, or other froggy colors of your choice. We begin with a body, starting with a magic circle, then seven single crochet within. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pull the starting tail tight. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Row two is seven single crochet increases. One, and two, three, and four, five, and six, Thirteen and fourteen. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Row three has a repeating pattern, starting with a single crochet increase. One and two, then a single crochet. Three. Repeated seven times around. Four. And five, six, seven, and eight, nine, nineteen, and twenty, twenty one. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Row four has a repeating pattern, starting with a single crochet increase. One and two, then two single crochet. Three, four. Repeated seven times around. Five and six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten, eleven, twelve, twenty five, and twenty six. 27, 28. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Row five is 28 single crochet around. One, two, three, four, five. Twenty seven, twenty eight. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. 
Row 6 has a repeating pattern, starting with a single crochet increase. 1 and 2, then 3 single crochet. 3, 4, 5. Repeated 7 times around. 6 and 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, 13, 14, 15, thirty one and thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next row seven is thirty five single crochet around one two three four five Thirty five. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Row eight has a repeating pattern, starting with a single crochet increase. One and two, then four single crochet. Three, four, five, six. Repeated seven times around. 7 and 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 37 and 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Take a moment to sew in the starting tail. The next six rows are the same. Attach the stitch marker to help counting the rows. Row 9 to 15 are the same, with 42 single crochet around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 41, 42. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. That's row nine, repeat for another five rows.
you can use the little V shapes to counter each row. Row 16 has a repeating pattern, starting with a single crochet decrease. One, one, then four single crochet, two, three, four, five, repeated seven times around, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, Thirty one, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Row seventeen is thirty five single crochet around. One, two, three. Four, five, thirty five. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Row 18 has a repeating pattern, starting with a single crochet decrease. One, one, then three single crochet. Two, three, four. Repeated seven times around. Five, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twenty five, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Row nineteen is twenty eight single crochet around. One, two, Three, four, five. Twenty six. Twenty seven, twenty eight. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Begin stuffing the body. Row twenty has a repeating pattern, starting with a single crochet decrease. One, one, then two single crochet, 
two, three. Repeated seven times around. Four, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, Nineteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Row twenty-one has a repeating pattern, starting with a single crochet decrease. One. One, then a single crochet, two, repeated seven times around, three, three, four, five, Five, six, seventeen, seventeen. Eighteen. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Finish stuffing the body. Row 22 is seven single crochet decreases around. One, one, two, two, three, three, Seven, seven, slip stitch to end the row and tie off. Cut a long tail. Sew the hole closed. Sew in the tail.
Next, we will be making the front legs, starting with a magic circle, then seven single crochet within. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bring the starting tail to the outside or to the side facing you so it can be sewn in at the end. Pull the starting tail tight. Slip stitch to end the row. And chain one to begin the next. Row two is seven single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Repeat this for row three. Row four begins with a repeating pattern. Starting with a single crochet increase. One and two then two single crochet, three, four, repeat once, five, and six, seven, eight, finishing with a single crochet, nine, Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Row five and six are nine single crochet around. One, two, three, eight, nine. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Now for row six, which is the same. Depending on the yarn you are using, stuff the legs now. If you are using a thick yarn, you may not need to. They don't need to be very full, just enough to keep the shape. Flatten the top and complete four single crochet to close. One, two, three, four, Tie off, cut a long tail, which will be used to attach this to the body later. Take a moment to sew in the starting tail. Make a second one. Next, 
we will be making the front feet. Begin with a magic circle. Then 7 single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pull the starting tail tight, slip stitch to end the row. and chain one to begin the next. Row two has three single crochet increases. One and two, three and four, five and six. Chain one and turn to begin the next row. Row three is six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Tie off. Cut a long tail. We will use this to shape the toes and attach this to the leg in a moment. Take a moment to sew in the starting tail. I thread the needle, then send it through the side up to the hole of the second stitch. Wrap the needle over and bring it through the same hole. Repeat a couple of times. Then send the needle across another stitch. Then bring the needle up and wrap it around in the same way as the first. Repeat a couple of times. Then send the needle back towards the starting magic circle. If you have enough thread, use it to sew to the bottom of the front leg. If it is too short, then sew in and attach a new thread.
Repeat this process for the other foot and leg. Next, we begin with the back legs, starting with the magic circle. Then seven single crochet. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Pull the starting tail tight. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Row two is seven single crochet increases. One and two, three and four, five and six. Thirteen and fourteen. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Row three is fourteen single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Thirteen, fourteen. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Sew in the starting tail. Row 4 has a repeating pattern, starting with 2 single crochet increases. 1 and 2 3 and 4 then 5 single crochet 5 6 7 8 9 Repeat once, 10 and 11, 12 and 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Row five and six, are 18 single crochet around. One, two, three, four, five. Seventeen, eighteen. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Repeat for row six. Row seven starts with six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, then two single crochet decreases, seven, seven, eight, eight, then finishing with eight single crochet, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Slip stitch to end the row and chain 1 to begin the next. Row 8 starts with 4 single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, then 2 single crochet decreases, 5, 5, 6, 6, finishing with 8 single crochet, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, slip stitch to end the row and chain 1 to begin the next. Row 9 is 14 single crochet, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Thirteen, fourteen. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Row ten starts with two single crochet. One, two, then a single crochet decrease across three stitches. Three, three, three. Then five single crochet. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Then a single crochet decrease. Nine, nine, finishing with two single crochet. Ten, eleven. Slip stitch to end the row and chain 1 to begin the next. Stuff lightly to help maintain the shape. Row 11 starts with 5 single crochet decreases. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, Four, four, five, five. Finishing with one single crochet. Six. Slip stitch to end the row and tie off. Cut a longer tail. Use it to sew the hole closed. Sew the ends in. Make a second one.
Next, we will make the back feet. Start with a magic circle, then seven single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pull the starting tail tight. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Row two is seven single crochet increases. One and two, three and four, five and six, Thirteen and fourteen. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Row three has a repeating pattern, starting with a single crochet increase. One and two, then a single crochet. Three. Repeated three times. Four and five. Six seven and eight, nine. Chain one and turn to start the new row. Row four is nine single crochet along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Tie off. Cut a long tail. Sew in the starting tail. Use the long tail to shape the toes just like the front feet, but going another row back. Then, if the tail is long enough, also sew to the bottom of the back leg.
So in the tail. Repeat this process for the other foot and leg. Next, we will be making the eye blobs. Begin with the magic circle. Then seven single crochet within. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pull the starting tail tight. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Row two is seven single crochet increases. One and two, three and four. five and six. Thirteen and fourteen. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Row three begins with a repeating pattern, starting with a single crochet. One then a single crochet increase, two and three, repeated four times around, four, five and six, seven, eight and nine, ten, eleven, and 12. Finishing with six single crochet. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Rows four to eight are 18 single crochet around. One, two, three, four, five. Seventeen, eighteen, slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. That's row four. Repeat for another four rows. Tie off, cut a long tail which will be used to sew to the body later.
take a moment to sew in the starting tail. Make a second one. Next, we'll be making the eye, using black yarn or a contrasting colour. Starting with a magic circle, then seven single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pull the starting tail tight. Slip stitch to end the row. and chain one to begin the next. Row two is seven single crochet increases. One, and two, three, and four, five, and six, Thirteen and fourteen. Slip stitch to end the row and tie off. Cut a long tail. This will be used to sew to the blob later. Sew the starting tail in, and make a second one. Next, we will be making the shiny triangle on the eyes, using white or contrasting yarn, starting with a magic circle, Then three single crochet. One, two, three. Tie off. Cut a longer tail, which will be used to sew this to the eye later. Make a second one. And the final part to be made is a smile or frown whichever you end up making. Using black yarn or something that contrasts from the body, chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and tie off. Cut a long tail, which will be used to sew this on shortly. Next, we begin construction. Starting with the eyes, we will sew the white part to the circle, with the wide section on the edge and the point in the center. I use the starting tail of the shine to wedge through the middle of the circle, and that holds it in place. Then I use the finishing tail to pin it all down.
Once it's on, I tie the ends together and cut them short, but I don't worry about sewing them in as they will be hidden in a moment. Next, we'll sew the circle to the eye blob. I use the finishing tail to pin down the starting point and then sew it down. Repeat for the other eye blob. Now we will attach them to the body. You may use pins to test placement of your preference. Start sewing it down.
Once about three quarters of the way around, stuff it lightly, just enough to give it shape, but not so much it'll become top heavy. Finish sewing it down and sew in the ends. You can leave the tail free on the first one while you sew down the second, just in case you need to undo and try again. Next, we will attach the front legs. If you haven't joined the feet yet, do that now. Then, we will attach the legs to the front, using pins to check placement and height. I line the outside of the leg to the outside of the blob, and line the top of the leg up so the feet will be flat to the ground. You actually need to put them a little lower than I do here, so it'll help with the frog standing up later. So the last row of the legs to the middle of the body aligned on a single row.
Once both front legs are attached, then we'll do the back legs. Once again, if you haven't attached the feet yet, do that now. To join the legs, you can just sew the inside of the leg to the body. But I have a doll needle, I think that's what it's called, and we'll use it to join both legs at the same time. This will mean that they can be twisted and turned around in different positions. Pin the legs in place. I tie the thread to the body first using a yarn needle. Then I thread the doll needle and start threading it through. I send it back and forth a couple of times before then tying off and securing the tail with a yarn needle as normal. You could add buttons for extra cuteness if you want. and securing the tail with a yarn needle as normal. And the final detail is the mouth. This is optional and you can make it as grumpy or smiley as you like. I test placement with pins first, then sew it in place. I position it deliberately a little off centre so it doesn't look accidentally crooked.
And we're all done. We have an adorable froggy squishy ready to go. If you've enjoyed this pattern, please like the video and subscribe. Share on Instagram or Twitter by tagging at shiny crochet so I can see your beautiful makes. Have a lovely day.